And so it's come down to this. Diego and I are fugitives, hated and hunted on both sides of the law. And everyone who tried to help us along the way has been arrested or murdered. The chief, the oracle, the prostitute, the other prostitute. And even our informant Spiderweb was taken into custody just this afternoon at his mom's house. But not before he managed to get us tickets to tonight's Chargers game where Michael Vick would be in just a matter of hours. But we still have each other and we still know what we have to do. For the bond we share is far stronger than the badges that once bore our names and ranks. Loyalty, commitment, integrity, and honesty are the very foundations for everything we've destroyed over the past week, but we can rebuild again. And as the sun sets on our career in law enforcement, we know that if we can't learn to live together, we're going to die alone. For the sun's truly greater than the parts. And with that, it's time to go. the search for Johnny Brett and his canine partner Diego intensifies, Police Chief Crockett remains in custody but continues to be the sole supporter of the two suspects. However, he would not comment on the overwhelming circumstantial evidence linking the two officers to the Turner Hooch fire or the murder of Heidi Weiss. And just moments ago, the FBI issued the following statement, they can run but they can't hide. It's just a matter of time. It's your news, LA. I'm Jackie Starr. Hello, good evening everyone and welcome to downtown San Diego. It's a beautiful Sunday evening, perfect weather for Chargers football. And we've got a good one for you tonight. The Philadelphia Eagles have landed and that can only mean one thing. Michael Vick is in town. And by all accounts, it sure seems like he's completely distanced himself from that dogfighting ring he orchestrated a couple of years back, which was eventually infiltrated by a couple of undercover LAPD officers. Vic appears remorseful, contrite, shows no sign of his vengeful criminal past. You know, there were a number of us in the media that thought Vic would retaliate against the cops that brought him down. But as you may have heard, both officers apparently have dug their own grave recently being charged with arson and murder, while Vic seems to have been completely rehabilitated. Terror struck in San Diego earlier today as NFL star Michael Vick fell victim to a brutal animal attack. Leaving the stadium after his Philadelphia Eagles beat the San Diego Chargers, Vic was reportedly attacked by what is being described as a vicious wild animal, perhaps a badger, or a wolverine, or a leprechaun. Conflicting eyewitness accounts have left authorities baffled, as more than one observer has claimed to see the animal dive into the passenger side of a moving vehicle, while the unknown driver blasted Billy Joel on the way out of town. Vic remains hospitalized as a record number of protesters have gathered, citing karma and fate, and chanting good riddance to the controversial anti-hero. It's your news, LA. I'm Jackie Starr. If you don't have a dog, you take care of it. Treat it with the utmost respect. Treat it like you would want somebody else to treat you. I was blessed to have a second chance, and I would never take it for granted. 